Fort Worth was established in 1849 as an army outpost and became a center of the Texas Longhorn cattle trade. The city experienced shortages during the Civil War and saw a population drop during Reconstruction. A mother and daughter travel by horse-drawn buckboard to a Juneteenth celebration in 1880. Delivery wagons loaded with barrels are stationed outside of Anheuser-Busch Brewing Association in 1885. the Tarrant County Courthouse construction in Fort Worth, Texas in 1894, the Texas Spring Palace in 1889, with the American flag flying from the roof. In an unidentified restaurant in 1883, numerous people posed for a photograph during a holiday dinner with various dishes on the counter and employees standing in front of shelves lined with grocery items. A small Christmas tree sat on top of a cabinet in the back of the store with signs for James G. Blaine, a Republican candidate for the 1884 presidency, hanging above the cash register. The Fort Worth Benevolent Home for Orphans, located on Cold Springs Road, with children gathered on the balcony, porch, and terrace. A class picture of Miss Clara Burnham's elementary school class at the Third Ward School. Workers posing with delivery wagons and horses outside the Southside Grocery, D. Maza & Company, located at the corner of South Jennings and West Daggett Avenues. The first Christian church, established in 1855, is Fort Worth's oldest continuously operating church. This photograph shows the front of the building with what appears to be the entire congregation of men, women, and children. Also, a view of the old post office located on Jennings Avenue and 11th Street. And a group of young ladies and gentlemen assemble around fallen logs for a photograph at the park. In 1896, Main Street looked north from 8th Street, featuring the Hotel Worth on the right and the Wheat Building across the street. The Fort Worth Marble and Granite Works Building, 
located at 1013-1015 Throckmorton Street, is seen in an exterior view from 1898, with employees and children visible in the photograph. In downtown Fort Worth, a cotton sale takes place in the public square, with men sitting on wagons and large bales of cotton. Several businesses can be seen in the background, including the City National Bank building. Captain J.C. Terrell's residence and Dr. E.J. Beale's home are also captured in historic photos, showcasing the architecture and lifestyle of the late 19th century. In 1895, seven women are lying prone on a lawn, along a wooden walkway. Edna Burchill is third from the right. And in 1899, American troops proceed down a road leading from a grass hut, some carrying brass musical instruments and others carrying rifles. The Tarrant County Courthouse under construction, with men posing on the steps and on the clock tower. The courthouse is located on 100 W. Weatherford Street, with horse-drawn wagons and streetcar tracks visible on the unpaved streets. A man stands outside the Hoof and Horn Buffet and Delicatessen, located at East Exchange Street in 1890. The City Hall building, located on the corner of Throckmorton and 10th Streets, was demolished in 1938 to make room for the new City Hall. The Texas Spring Palace's Cherokee County Tower and Rusk County facade were decorated with agricultural materials from each Texas county. The City Hall was located on the corner of Throckmorton and 10th Streets and was demolished in 1938. The Texas and Pacific Passenger Station on Main and Front Streets in 1890 and the L.M. Whitsitt Drugstore on Main Street with two boys talking near the door. In 1893, two firemen and a dog sit on a horse-drawn wagon carrying ladders while five other men and a boy stand around the wagon. And in 1899, the Central Fire Station on 8th and Throckmorton Streets was built, with the City Hall building partially visible behind it. A dirt street with a horse and buggy traveling on it, possibly 7th Street facing St. Paul's Methodist Church in 1899. A Victorian house at 1110 Penn Street, built in 1899 and purchased by William Edelman, founder of Western National Bank. In this photo, a group of people are seen standing on a stairway and sitting in chairs in a lobby, possibly of a hotel, with spittoons on the floor and local business advertisements on the wall. Another photo shows a villager drawing water from a community well outside of a Naipa hut village in the Philippines. Lastly, there is a gathering of women wearing costumes posing under an umbrella for Ella Hogsett's Japanese reception. A botany class at Fort Worth University poses in front of the main building, and the old federal building and post office was located on the corner of Texas and Jennings Streets, across from St. Patrick Cathedral. Here we have a view of the City Hall building on Throckmorton and 10th Streets, with the Central Fire Station on 8th and Throckmorton Streets to the right. Also, a view of the Tarrant County Courthouse with a horse-drawn carriage and a streetcar in the foreground. The City Hall building was located on the corner of Throckmorton and 10th Streets and was demolished in 1938. The St. Ignatius Academy was a day and boarding school for young ladies, founded around 1888. The Hotel Worth, located on the corner of Main and 7th Streets, opened in 1896.
The first Christian church building at the corner of Throckmorton and Six Streets was built in 1878 and demolished in 1914. J.T. Ellis and his son Jerry are seen riding in a horse-drawn wagon by the First Presbyterian Church, while two couples ride in a horse-drawn surrey at the Fort Worth Fencibles Camp in 1895. A group of children pose for a photograph outside of a schoolhouse, possibly at the Fort Worth Benevolent Home for Orphans. The Fort Worth Parade of 1895 featured a large, ornate carriage pulled by ten horses, while the Flower Carnival Carriage of 1898 showcased three women dressed in white riding on a horse-drawn carriage. The faculty and students of Fort Worth University Medical Department's 1895 first term pose for a group photograph outside of the college. A parade headed east down the 100 block of Belknap Street, past the Tarrant County Jail on the right. John A. Mugg Jr. is seated on the left in the first buggy. His son Emmy e. Mugg is the small boy in the wagon. In 1898, a woman stands next to a floral arrangement sitting on a table in Casa Ventosa. The room is decorated with a chandelier, several chairs, and a fireplace with a large glass mirror above the mantel. The Queen Anne home at 324 Summit Avenue was owned by attorney Frank W. Ball in 1895, and the parlor was filled with chairs and tables on a floral-patterned carpet. The home of Helen Daggett Mormon, later Mrs. William McKee, was located three miles north of Fort Worth in 1890, while the Masonic Widows and Orphans home was located four miles southeast of Fort Worth and one mile south of Polytechnic College in 1899. David Tuck Boaz's home at 611 East Bluff was the first two-story brick house in Fort Worth, built by Boaz himself in 1872. E.M. Daggett's Queen Anne House was located at 603 East Bluff Street. Fort Worth High School, a Romanesque-style building constructed in 1891, was the first school in the area to educate both boys and girls before it was destroyed by fire in 1910. In 1894, John W. Bondurant and two other men were photographed in his office at the Bergman Produce Company. And in 1890, employees of the Fort Worth and Rio Grande Railway were pictured standing on the porch of the railway building. The Cotton Belt Railroad Depot in 1896 was marked by three wooden buildings, while the Farmers and Mechanics National Bank building in 1895 was located on the corner of Main and 7th Streets. Here we can see the cattle in the Fort Worth stockyards with boxcars belonging to the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad and Texas and Pacific Railroad. And here's a view of Chile's Dam, also known as City Park Dam, seen from the banks of the Clear Fork of the Trinity River. Number 3. A local family at work amongst their Nipa huts, somewhere in the Philippines. Number four, bird's eye view of a smoldering volcano, possibly the Taal volcano in the Batangas province of the Philippines. Number five, American troops swimming in a river, possibly in the Batangas province of the Philippines.
An assortment of howitzers and cannons are stored in the courtyard of an armory, possibly left behind by the Spanish military after the Battle of Manila. Most of the artillery appear to be smooth bore, outside the stone walls of a Philippine cemetery, possibly in the Batangas province. Two men stand in the doorway of a domed mausoleum. This is likely a photograph of the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception on left in Batangas City. The building to the right probably served as a headquarters for the Battalion of Engineers that was attached to the 8th Army. A closer view reveals supply wagons and numerous American troops walking in the plaza. American infantrymen rest in chairs underneath shade trees, while other troops nap on the ground, possibly near Batangas City, Philippines. Troops at Drill, 1899, U.S. infantry at drill exercises on the parade ground of a temporary military camp, possibly near Batangas City, Philippines. Inspection of Troops, 1899. American troops fall in for inspection in front of a two-story building, likely in Batangas City or Lipa, Philippines. Some of the soldiers' campaign hats have an insignia resembling the number 8, possibly for the 8th Army Corps. 8th Army Corps, 1899. Members of the 8th Army Corps pose for a group photograph in front of a village wall, likely in Luzon Island, Philippines. Colin George S. Anderson Reviews Camp, 1899 Colonel George S. Anderson, commander of 38th U.S. Volunteer Infantry, reviews a temporary military camp established outside the ruins of an old Spanish church in the Philippines. Meanwhile, the troops tend to the horses. Funeral Procession, 1899 a group of pallbearers carry a casket up the steps to a cemetery. Mounted troops. Crossing a stream. 1899. Three troops on horseback cross a stream in the Philippines. Construction of the Tarrant County Courthouse. 1895. The Tarrant County Courthouse is shown under construction, built with pink granite and steel framing.